OK, so let's say I want to prove that 2 minus sine squared x over cos squared plus 1 is equal to 1. OK, so first things first. You can't, you're not being asked here to solve this. OK, you're being asked to prove this. So what you want to do is you want to show that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side or the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side. OK? So you want to start with one side of the equation. Now, it makes sense to start with the trickiest looking side. There's not much I can do with one. So let's start with the left-hand side. Make it clear to the examiner exactly what you're doing. So I'm using LHS to represent left-hand side. So 2 minus sine squared over cos squared plus 1. Now, I know that sine squared plus cos squared is 1. OK? So I can use that trig identity to swap uh, any sine squared or cos squared that I want to work with. So that sine squared there, for example, if I replaced that with 1 minus cos squared, Okay, let's see what happens. Well, the numerator becomes 2 take away 1, so 1, 2 take away, so, or sorry, the take away a minus here, so plus cos squared, so that's your numerator, and I've got cos squared plus 1 in the denominator. 1 plus cos squared over cos squared plus 1, well, the numerator and denominator are now the same, so that's equal to 1, which is the right hand side. So, as left-hand side is equal to right-hand side, we are done, OK? Uh, the, the actual identity has been proved. And proofs usually end in a little square, OK, to show that you are finished.